So, anyway, um, I've taken the VSPB cell off the, off the test stand, and uh, right now, I think uh, what I'm going to do is, A, there's probably not enough of a footprint on this board left anymore to accommodate the extra extra footprint of the of the bat cell and I also don't really have a, a way to secure it firmly down to the board so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the bat cell and set it up alongside the, the test stand here so that it doesn't pick up the vibrations from the engine and feed the HHL back into the uh, bubbler with the, uh, the Dwyer gas flow meters. sit here. Maybe I should turn it this way. That way I can see my flow meters. Yeah, that's the ticket. Challenge here is to keep this plastic hose away from the exhaust. Once again, many thanks to uh, <coughs> Ralph Gugar and George Papp for uh, donating these Dwyer flow meters. So uh, here we are using the uh, standard broadcast interface. It does look like, uh, yeah, the picture really suffered. <coughs> I know. But uh, <coughs> got to give it a try because if the, uh, if the service is constantly dropping, It's possible that my little atom processor just can't handle the uh, handle the workload either. Gee, honey, I, I really need that new laptop. You know, because um, no, it, no, really, I do because uh, my my broadcasts aren't aren't uh, streaming correctly. So um, <coughs> actually. <coughs> I don't have to justify my purchases. She knows I'm going to get it anyway. I do believe it's time to warm up the engine. I'm going to take my <clears throat> my exhaust extension tube shove it in there, which makes it run a lot quieter. This is just a uh, piece of half inch inside diameter aluminum tubing. It happens to fit just perfectly right in the outlet of the muffler.
That's what I'm talking about. Right now, the bat sound is producing close to two liters a minute from 16 amps. series. All right. One thing I'm going to be doing a little differently today is um, going to be monitoring the average voltage that appears at the terminals of the cell rather than monitoring the voltage at the input to the pulse width modulator. The reason for that is because when it's regulating current, it's also reducing the duty cycle of the on, on time for the voltage. That gives you a lower RMS voltage, even though you have a peak voltage. It's pretty high. You end up with, a, with an RMS value or an average value that's considerably less. This one's all filled up. Oh, by the way, uh, two, two liters per minute on the Dwyer is roughly actually is rough an actual 1.4 liters per minute. So your nine mmW was uh, a little bit exaggerated. <coughs> If you plug uh, if you plug 1.4 liters per minute into the same calculation, you'll end up with uh, with a lower number, obviously. 